Good morning. Anybody else tired from watching the Super Bowl last night? This guy right here. So, uh, dragging a little bit this morning, but uh, already getting stuff done. So, I uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope everybody enjoyed the game. Uh, it was a game that uh, I thought it would be a lot closer. Um, but let's talk about Tom Brady's greatness. I mean, you know, I'm a Jets fan, so I mean, I despise the guy, just not because of him personally, but because I mean, he always. He always beat us. Then again, half the league, or probably 90% of the league does. Anyway, but his greatness is measured in consistency. If you read his workouts, if you read what he does, uh, you know, how much he prepares, he's the hardest working guy uh, out there by far. Um, you know, and this is a guy, let's not forget, this is a guy who was drafted in the sixth round. Um, sixth round. So, you know, he's always had something to prove. He's always had to work harder than everybody else. Um don't give me this stuff about cheating, all this other junk, and this and that. I think he pretty much solidified that yesterday, uh, that he is the greatest quarterback uh, of all time. You don't believe me? Debate me. Comment down below. But it is what it is, okay? So, you know, I, I enjoy seeing successful people succeed. I enjoy people, I enjoy seeing underdogs picked in the sixth round become the greatest quarterback of all time. I enjoy seeing people succeed. I enjoy seeing, com you know, comebacks. Uh, from people. Uh, good morning, I am. And it's just, it's so, it's so good to see because, you know, it shows you that if you follow discipline, if you follow a plan consistently, you will be successful over and over and over and over again. But part of that is that you have to love what you do. And, and you know, there's a lot of people who don't. And, and that's why it's difficult for them to accomplish anything. You have to find what your passion is. Mine is business. I enjoy business. I enjoy growing. I enjoy uh, adding pieces to the puzzle, figuring out pieces to the puzzle. I enjoy that. That's a fun part about me. Documentation, I absolutely hate, despise. Like most of you people out there, I'm sure you do. You know, buyers or people looking to refinance, you hate documentation, but we need it. It's not what. It's not like it was uh, pre-mortgage crash, um, you know, 2007, 2006, where, where you didn't need any documentation. But my passion is I enjoy growing. I enjoy accomplishing new stuff. I enjoy having, you know, high goals and, and, and figuring out if I don't do that, I get bored. Uh, and I start going sideways and, and, and doing, uh, the, the wrong stuff, I guess. So that's my passion. I enjoy it. I enjoy growing. I enjoy, uh, having, you know, big hurdles in front of me, big goals, uh, and so forth. I just, that just, you know, you know, keeps the fire burning. Now, my main point of this video, besides all that stuff, is self-employed income, okay? Irregular income, you know? I've, I've had that since probably 1993, 94, since I've been self-employed, you know, even though I get paid W-2 now because the, the rules have changed with, with, you know, since the crash and so forth. I can't, I can't be paid 1099 uh, right now uh, ever since the crash, but it is irregular income. It's paid on commission. It's, it's paid on what you produce. Uh, when you're self-employed or have irregular income, very important, you know, okay, it's, it goes back to a two-year history. They want to see two-year history. Now, let's say you've been doing something for a while and then change entities, okay? So let's say you're a LLC and then you change it to an S corporation. Well, that could be an issue. Keep everything consistent, okay? Buy the house, do what you got to do, uh, and then after that, tweak it, you know? Um, you know, there's programs out there, bank statement programs and, and so forth. There are a lot of hurdles to jump through and, and everything else. But I'm just trying to prevent things from happening. We're, we're like, um, you know, to, with this one client right now, uh, he's basically uh, going through some hoops now and, and trying to jump through it because he's changed how he has been getting paid. Okay, so it's a little bit different. So let's say you own a, a lot of houses. Uh, I would keep it under one company, one entity, if you can, and show that money flowing in and out of your, your company, so to speak. So if a house leaves you or, or you sell a house and so forth, um, you know, having that entity, you know, that, that storage units, for, for an example, okay, having different types of storage units, keep that under one entity because, you know, some people might, you know, might sell that a year from now or two years from now and so forth. But if you have that one entity going through it, and, and having that income passing through, that's what they're going to look at. They're going to look at the bottom line, not all the in, you know individual units or um, storage units and, and so forth. What they're going to look at is, okay, here's the gross income coming in. Here's the write-offs. I'm giving you very basic here. Here's the write-offs. Here's the bottom line. Okay, that's what they're going to look at. Um, so 
main point of this whole video uh, is to basically keep everything status quo until you purchase the house and then after that like you can do what you want you know at, you know at that point but um, very important because irregular income we can't you know we always have to go back to two year history so even if you've been doing it but under a different entity it throws a monkey wrench into everything so just be aware of that um, I, I get it you know I mean starting a company and, and that's the best way to go uh, you know having you know no ceiling on your income is the best way to go it's, it's the scariest like I said I've been doing it since 94 so what is that I can't I'm too early at math, but I guess that's close to 30 years. So I, I get that. I get that it's it's a constant restarting of the clock every single day, the first of the month, and so forth. But if you can plow through it and do it and do it consistently, uh, it will give you the most prosperity as far as income um, over the long term. Okay, But when it comes to buying a house, be very careful uh, of switching things around before you purchase that house because it could throw a whole wrench into everything. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, anyway, uh, I still think Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. So if you got any uh, problems with that or you, you agree, uh, shoot comments down below. Any questions, comments down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. And it looks like I'm late for my team meeting. So I got to roll. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.